Hello, this is Homesteading Northwest Florida, and it is Wednesday, September 20th at 6 p.m. And uh, it is 2020, the year 2020, 23. Jeez, I'm kind of tired. I just, uh, I'm kind of doing a ex similar experiment to David the Good channel because I had tons of mimosa trees at one time and I still have some and uh, I cut a couple down they had all these shoots coming out at the bottom of the base of a stump so I thought uh, he, uh, these trees they're kind of a trash tree uh, and they were all over here like I had six shoots growing on top of the septic tank uh, had to clear those out and dig them out one actually took the shape they don't really have really strong roots which is good it actually took the shape of that corner of the septic tank it like grew and it had an angle the root had an angle to it and uh but it was kind of an overcast day today here's my glade of little pine trees that i might transplant somewhere but i'll tell you the temperature here on September 23rd, it was a kind of beautiful overcast day. I didn't really check the temperature on the indoor thermometer, but it is 80 degrees right now at 6 p.m. So, uh, it's getting dark out. Hope the lighting is okay with this camera. There's all my solar lights for my rat patrol and the cars to keep the rats out of the cars. So anyhow, uh, these are mimosa-like leaves here. And I stripped out a whole wheelbarrow of them. I'll do this one as well, where you just take them and you strip them. And these are an invasive tree. They have like pink palm flowers. It is kind of, it was an ornamental, I'm sure, that people really liked them at one time uh but now and they do come up like everywhere and they have these seed pods so i kind of got these wet here in this wheelbarrow and i'm gonna put them in this bed because apparently they're a nitrogen fixing tree so i'm gonna put them this is what i can do this is gonna be my experiment i'm gonna put them in this flower bed which I used to have beautiful dahlias in here but it's been kind of there's a dahlia but it didn't even do much this year but I'm gonna put them in here and I think I might have chopped my more I weeded then I'm gonna put these here and then I'm gonna cover them with cardboard and this apparently is a nitrogen fixing plant which means it actually kind of takes its nitrogen from the air. And uh, I always complain that, oh, these weeds are uh, stealing all my nitrogen. So I used to cut my grass all the time, and I do use a bagging lawnmower. So I do have some compost going. But this is how I'm going to do this here, is uh, with these... You know, I'm going to cover it up with cardboard there so I can really see if I can lock in the nitrogen. So anyhow, we'll see how this experiment goes of adding something good to the soil because it's kind of not great, you know. So bed is weeded. We're adding mimosa leaves and we're going to see how the soil gets. This is a pile of compost that I'm trying to grow some green peppers in from but I think they're hybrid green peppers when you buy them from the store. And I'm also growing some little pine trees here uh, that I transplanted from other areas that I just didn't want to kill these little pine trees. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if the mimosa leaves enhance the soil over winter and with the cardboard on top. And I do use my ratcheting lopers. Uh, mimosas also have these long straight branches that grow with the fronds at the top. 
and you could use them for poles or stakes or you know fencing kind of although they might grow if you stick them in the ground if you don't dry them out a little bit so uh, they do have long nice long straight poles so i use these tools to do my chopping the ratcheting lopers to do the chopping of the mimosa uh, trees bushes actually these these will not have flowers and come to seed yet because it's just the stump growing back in the woods in the edge of the woods on the edge of the woods is where I have most of the stumps so we're just trying to uh, make something out of uh, leaves that would other but otherwise be just like discarded so we're trying to get the nitrogen out of them and we'll see how this experiment works and anyhow, thanks for watching, and we'll see what happens.